Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're continuing my series here on my channel where I review a Chanel perfume and also create a makeup tutorial based off or inspired by that same perfume. So today we are talking about the Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Now in the Chanel Chance family, there are several perfumes, there are several different variations like Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, but today we are talking about the fresh, woody citrus perfume known as Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. I have my iced coffee here on the side ready to drink. I encourage you to grab yours as well. I ran out of soy milk this morning, so I'm drinking it black, but I'm gonna push through and enjoy my caffeine. So Eau Fraiche is a relatively new perfume. I mean, I say new because you know, the first Chanel perfume came out a very long time ago. So this came out in the mid 2000s, I think 2007. And this is an, an eau de toilette. So by nature, it's going to be a bit lighter and more refreshing. I'm gonna start off my base with the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer here. So the Eau Fraiche perfume, like I mentioned, is very light and it is very green and citrusy. So in my mind, the Eau Fraiche perfume, if I can imagine her as a woman, by the way, I am wearing green for the purpose of this video. So in my mind, Eau Fraiche is someone who is youthful, not necessarily youthful in age, but just youthful in heart and in spirit. She enjoys the outdoors, not only for sport, but also for leisure. So in my mind, someone who wears Eau Fraiche is almost always outdoors and almost always has a tan, whether it's from playing tennis outdoors, um, gardening, being by the seaside all the time. They are just someone who has a perpetual tan. So I want to make sure that my skin is glowing and radiant because we all know that when you get like the natural tan, your skin just looks very luminous and radiant. So that's what we're going for today. I'm gonna to go ahead and use my new Dior um, bronzer here. This is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude uh, bronzer. This came out in the Wild Earth collection. I have 02. This is the darker one here. So I'm gonna use this as a bronzer today and I'm also going to use this for some eyeshadow. Using a big fluffy brush, I'm just gonna place this in the crease. So the top notes of Eau Fraiche are citrus. It really, it, it's funny because some citrus perfumes are very sweet, but this one isn't like sugary sweet. It's very light and bubbly because it also has a bit of a woody note in the top notes. So it's not like a saccharine sweet kind of lemon scent. It's a bit more complex. And there are also a lot of flower accords in the perfume as well. There's a lot of jasmine, um, iris, I think there's hyacinth as well. I think I'm pronouncing that properly. So even though it is a very fresh citrus scent, it does still have like the complexity with um, the florals in the middle as well. Okay, so now that I laid down that bronzer, I'm gonna keep the eye look pretty simple. I'm gonna go into this Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow here. This is just the sleeve. This is part of the mini um, eyeshadow palette that came out a few months ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think, one of the shimmer shades. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this gold one here on the mobile lid. I'm just gonna use my finger and apply it on the lid because again, I'm going for that like bronzy effect. And I'm just gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and just make sure that this is blended out. I was really surprised by this perfume because there's patchouli in Eau Fraiche, which I did not realize because usually when anything has patchouli in it, it does not really suit me very well. Um, I just completely forgot to show you the actual perfume that I have. So I have this little um, sample container here from Chanel. So inside you have four of the Chanel Chance perfumes here. So let me see if I can show you the wrapper. So you have a sample of Eau Fraiche, you have Eau Vive, you have the Classic Chance, and also Eau Tendre here. So here is the little sample of a Chance Eau Fraiche. As you can see, I have used it. Let's go ahead and spray some. I was surprised that there's only lemon in this perfume. I thought there would be limes in there because it really smells like the rind of a lime. It's very green, it's very zesty. 
it's also very fresh and I honestly cannot pick up on the patchouli which I'm happy about because I really don't like patchouli that much and not only do I not like patchouli but I feel like on me patchouli does not like me as well like it often turns into bug spray on my skin so I'm glad that there's like you know a nice balance so I'm just taking the big fluffy brush from before and just buffing this out so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the face makeup um, before I continue the eyes so on the theme of you know outdoors sunshine kind of sporty I'm gonna go ahead and use the CC cream here now this is the older version I believe this one has an SPF of 30 um, but you should wear a sunscreen underneath your makeup anyway but this is just to go along with the theme of you know au fraiche is always outside in the sun playing sports or just like leisuring outside for the concealer I'm going in with my Clé de Peau concealer now if I'm not mistaken there are several variations of au fraiche by that I mean there are different formats for the eau de toilette like the 100 milliliter 50 milliliter and I think there's also the 150 milliliter and also the travel size ones and also they have the shower gel, the body lotion, the body cream, etc. So going back into my bronzer, I'm going to apply this onto my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this quite liberally on my forehead, again to just mimic the effect of a tan. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and use a more tapered brush and just trace it under the lashes here. Okay, so now, I'm feeling a little bit brave today. Uh, in my mind, Ofrash is someone who wears like, you know, pretty light makeup, although let's be honest, this is quite a bit of makeup for someone who's gonna be like out playing tennis or at the beach or gardening, but you know, this is make-believe. Um, in my mind, Ofrash is also someone who probably wears like a little wing liner. Now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, uh, I am good at a lot of different types of makeup, but winged liner is not my strong suit, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Dior Show On Stage Liner. This is waterproof liquid eyeliner, and this is in a vinyl black, so a black liner. Now, I think one of the reasons why I don't usually do liner is because I actually have one eye that's more hooded than the other. Like, both of them, they kind of look the same if I don't say anything, but this one here is actually more hooded. And so when it comes to doing eyeliner or like the cat eye flick, this side always looks a little bit wonky. So I'm just warning you in advance that this is not going to be perfect, but you know what? I'm going to try anyway. Let's go ahead and do this side here because this one's always easier for me. So even though I'm quite certain that liquid liner can smell fear off of you, sometimes in life it's good to do something that scares you a little bit. Okay, there's a little bit of a wing. Let's hope and pray, pray for me at home, that I can do this side as well. <laughs> okay, so... This is what I got. It's not bad. I think the problem that I'm experiencing right now is that this is about a year old, so it's very dry and expired. So it wasn't as easy to do like the flick, although like I mentioned, it's never that easy for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of liner. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Chanel Stilo Jus Waterproof, and I'm gonna go ahead and tight line the eye. This is black. It's just to make sure that there's no gaps in between the lashes, and I just wanna make sure that everything looks nice and seamless. So to go ahead and keep this eye look fresh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Chanel Stilo Jus, or sorry, Stilo Ombre Contour in Nude Eclat. This is just like a white liner. I went ahead and placed that in the bottom waterline and also in the inner corner as well. Now for the mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Pat McGrath Fetishize Mascara. I just realized that I almost forgot the blush. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Westman Atelier Blush Stick in Minette. It is this one here that looks like a gorgeous peachy color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my lips as well because you can do this with this blush. Mm, it's turning out a bit too light, so I'm gonna go with something a bit darker. I'm gonna go and use my Rouge Coco Flash number 66 in Pulse. I'm gonna use this sparingly because as you can tell, it's quite bright. I'm gonna go ahead and use a lip butter over top. This is the Emile Corden um, number one Lisa. This is the Rose Champagne. It has a nice little scent, or sorry, Rose Champagne. It doesn't really have much color, but I just wanna make it a bit gloss glossier. So there you guys go, that is the video. This is my interpretation of what the Chanel Chance au Frache would look like as a makeup look or as a person. I just feel like this perfume is so light and fresh and zesty and green, but without being 
too masculine because in my opinion and according to my nose sometimes when i smell more greener perfumes they tend to be too heavy on the patchouli and vetiver and too woody and they kind of just turn masculine on my skin but this one has all of those good qualities but without turning too harsh on me which i really like and i feel like for this time of year the spring is here summer is coming this is definitely a really nice perfume to wear it's an eau de toilette so it's not too heavy this is something you can kind of apply a bit more liberally so it's really nice and this is just my interpretation of what a makeup look might look like for someone who likes to wear this perfume so hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you guys got some ideas and some inspiration please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever i post a new video I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.